Hey, we're back on the shop. As you can see, the hood is back on this car. We have come to the end of our time with this project. It's a little more of a project than I anticipated and a little more time than I could actually devote to it. So it's going to go back to Phil. Sorry, Phil. But we got him to a point where we can comfortably hand off the next portion of the wiring radiator you guys have seen it is in the car but it is going back we have some big news coming up big project for us regarding this property right here so some of you may know some of you may be hearing this soon for the first time but there is big things in store for us so we'll be back with you shortly with that news but for this i'm going to get on to working and Get this thing down on the ground on all fours and ready to load up and get on out of here. All right, well, we told you that we had something big coming very soon. This is the first glimpse of it. We're so excited. So that will be the new house and new shop in southern utah so we're looking at probably um july i was gonna say late summer july first part of august probably for our move shop's not started yet so sad for me but the house is well I, underway i did sorry for interrupting but i did convince him that we do need a place to sleep before he has a place to play and work so it could work we priorities could, we could sleep in the shop <laughs> no we couldn't so we're gonna do walk through today with uh electrician and plumber and uh somebody's excited i'm very excited so first custom house for us ever first any house that we i mean we, we've always bought an existing oh we've lived in the same house for 25 years that <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take you along show you what we're doing uh, give you a little glimpse on what the day is going to hold for us. Side. Garages. Covered deck. Media room. Gym. Alright, so we told you guys that we would, uh, give you a little peek into what we got going on here. This is the project we've got. We've alluded to the fact that we've had this property for a while. Uh, it's where we keep all of our Utah toys stored. I have to excuse this background noise, but we'll uh, take you for a quick walkthrough. I'm gonna pop this mic off and we'll use the GoPro mic. Uh, like I said, there is guys working here, so we'll have to excuse their noise. Alright. So this is our main floor. And our uh, so living room. Hard to envision, but kitchen. Game room, pool table goes here. GoPro's in your hand. Dining area, bedrooms over here. It's kind of hard to tell. Everything looks the same when it's just studded walls. Mud room and laundry. Check this out, you guys will like this. This is all, this is all garage. So designed around the Ram, which you guys have seen in some other videos, sitting, uh, being able to pull all the way in with enough room to walk around after it's already in. Hey, the guys are working on the deck upstairs. The dungeon. 
office. So things we didn't know before we started building a house. Um, design work on this house, because we worked with a designer, took a year, a full year of design work, trying to get everything in it that we wanted, trying to get things to fit. After a year, then we found a builder. Um, Big Rock Homes is the builder. If you're in Southern Utah, not a sponsor, but definitely a good guy to work with. They took on the project and are managing all the subs. Check your plans very closely. We moved some stuff around a long time ago. After we made that move, uh, see if you guys can see this. These windows are not equally spaced in this wall. So we're having the framers take this wall right or this window right here and move it over here oh about a foot so that's a problem bathroom shower really kind of hard to see everything but this is progress so far see they're working on sheeting today get the roof all sheeted out we'll see if we can't sneak upstairs while these guys are working this will be out to a covered patio. All covered. This will be a nice big patio. Be able to hang out out here. See, nobody can build up behind us. It is actually BLM land up there. So we'll take you upstairs and uh, show you what's going on upstairs. Let's see if we can stay out of everybody's way. These guys are working hard and we're hardly working. So, laundry room upstairs. Looks like all the rest of the walls I know. Here's our open tube below. This will obviously have railing on it, so we'll get that put in here shortly. Uh, this will be all see-through rail. See, told you guys are working. We're just wandering around making YouTube videos. Front area lumber i don't know whether you guys can see this or not these right here those are going to be the front entry These massive timbers will be the front entry to the house then this will be a gym Because, you know, I'm old and I'm getting fat, so we got to have a gym to counterbalance the fat, all the good stuff that we eat. And it's really hard to see. Out that way is Zion National Park. So yes, from the gym, you can uh, have the beautiful view out to Zion National Park. Video screen over here, projector mounted above. This will be a uh, theater or a media room. Popcorn machine will go over here. Next time you guys see this place, I believe it'll be all drywalled and uh, we'll be making some exciting moves. For us, this is exciting. Like I said, this has been oh, uh, almost a year and a half in work and design. Designs, designs, designs. We were talking a little bit before about things we didn't know we didn't know. So if you decide to build a house, be patient. Uh, there's a lot of things that are gonna have to be decisions way before you think they're going to need to be made. Get on those early. 
We needed to get things like windows figured out. We thought, oh, windows are windows, right? There's a ton of different options for windows. Know what you want, figure it out. Work with your window guy, get those ordered early. We're still okay, we got everything ordered on time, but it took way longer than we thought. Your stone countertops, make sure you're early with that type stuff. It's much more difficult to find the stone you want. Um, not all stone is equal. Not all stone uh, looks the same. Same stone, same stone name, way different looks. Took Shannon a long time to find stone. I think we dialed it in today. Get with that, get it all done. Um, we're here this weekend for our electrical and plumbing walkthrough before they start the rough ends. Things about where do you want plugs? Where do you want your TVs? Do you want um, switches to be turned off in multiple areas? Those type things, all are things that you need to be thinking about way up front. Um, because as you can see, we've got sticks and we're having to make those decisions now. Um, placement on your lot. You buy a lot. Everything was great with our lot. We thought, oh, this is awesome. It couldn't be any better. Found out, oh, one of the, one of the rules up here is you can't build any portion under your, under the power lines. Well, as it turns out, there's power lines. Just slid it forward on the lot. Not a big deal, but it changed how the backyard lays out. We moved the house forward. Moved the house forward. Change the front approach. How close we are to the road. How much noise is going to be. All these things changed. We didn't think about it because we didn't know. So, uh, we're working on that. Everything's okay now. But I'll ask all those questions. If you're not building it yourself, somebody else is building it for you, ask, ask, ask. Uh, it may be a super simple question for your builder, or it may be something that nobody has thought about to this point. And you go, hey, what about this? And they go, ooh, you're right. We build houses all the time, and we don't think about some of those things. But it's all good enough. We are about, I don't know, an hour or so away from getting back in the truck and headed back to the California house. Uh, that house, as you'll see possibly at the end of this video, is getting a ton of work done to it. Uh, I know we did a short for you guys, showed you uh, my mad roofing skills. But that house is getting ready to go on the market and we will be making a transition as this house gets done in the next group of months we will be making a transition to full-time Utah residents so we're going to go ahead and wrap this guy up get ready to get back in the truck uh, we do have a trip here in a couple weeks that we're gonna take you on it will take a little longer to get that video out to you uh, because we are taking Shannon and some friends and we are going to go to Europe for three weeks. Um, big birthday, milestone birthday for Shannon and uh, one of her friends. So we're going to use the opportunity to uh, jump on an airplane for nine hours pop over the pond, I guess they say. I don't know. We're pretty uh, unrefined for that, but get on an airplane for nine hours, go do some uh, tourist things in Normandy, England, uh, Paris. We're gonna take you guys along for that, show you a uh, a little snippet of some travel. 
Uh, we don't get to do it much. Usually we're uh, banging away in the shop, doing things like that. We thought it would be a fun outing to take you guys along, show you a little some other stuff that we do. But we're gonna get on out of here for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one.